If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Now look, I need y'all to pay close attention, and I'm talking about I need y'all to walk with me on this motherfucker because this nigga little baby, I can't stand this nigga. And let me explain to y'all why I don't like this nigga, right? I hate when niggas come back to their communities, especially you rappers. I hate when y'all come back to the community and start trying to fix shit. What you mean, hood educated? Let me tell y'all what I mean. West End Atlanta, right? They had a basketball court out there in the park. And y'all know the motherfucking basketball courts in the, in the, in the hood be fucked up. I'm talking about ain't no motherfucking net on the rim. The motherfucking goal post be kind of lopsided a little bit. Niggas got to shoot the ball from the side. All type of weird ass shit, right? Uh, the free throw line, the paint from the free throw line gone. So, you know, we, we make it up in our mind that the free throw line right here, bro. That go the free throw right there. Ain't no out of bound lines, you know, around so motherfucking know when the ball go out of bounds. So, you know, we make up shit. Hey, if it go past the tree, dog. Yeah. No, nigga, the tree, that's out of bounds. No, if that pole, if it go out by that pole, that's out of bounds. You know, these are the things. We make do with what we got, right? Now, this old motherfucker, little baby gonna come to the hood and fix it. <laughs> Man, y'all, this nigga came to his neighborhood and fixed the basketball court. Gonna put some state-of-the-art type shit all on the basketball court. He gonna fix the rims. He gonna fix the nets. He gonna fix the paint. They got motherfucking free throw lines and shit like that. Now, they got out-of-bound lines and shit like that. Got the motherfucking basketball court looking like state-of-the-art type shit. I'm talking about shit that belong in the motherfucking arena or something. I just don't like that type of shit. Don't listen to what that nigga talk about in his raps. Watch what that nigga do. That type of shit right there, I don't, I don't like that. That nigga don't come back to the hood giving back to your community and shit like that. Fixing shit. Leave that shit tore up the way it is. Nigga, we don't need, nigga, nigga, fuck that. Leave the shit fucked up. And another thing I don't like is this right here, y'all. When I was a kid, right? When I was a young nigga, I didn't have a motherfucking bike, right? So unfortunately, I had to go steal a motherfucking bike. I didn't have to, but I wanted one so bad, so I went to the suburbs and stole a motherfucking bike because I wanted a bike that bad, right? Y'all know what this nigga little baby did? This nigga went back to his community and had a bike giveaway for the kids. This nigga had a bike giveaway for the kids, man. And I wasn't invited. Didn't no motherfucker had no bike giveaways when I was young coming up. So I don't like that shit. This nigga had bikes lined up all the way down here. Bikes lined up all the way down there. Check it out. Y'all see that shit? This nigga giving away bikes to kids that he don't even know. Saving their parents hundreds of dollars. And ain't no telling how much money that he done spent out his pocket for some strangers that he don't even know so that these kids can have bikes, so these kids can have transportation. Listen, little baby, nigga, don't be coming to the hood doing that shit, bruh. We don't want you. We don't want you coming back doing that type of shit for your community. Remember, watch what that nigga say. Don't watch what he do. Just watch what he say, though, right? Another thing that I can't stand about this nigga. Yeah, I'm, I'm laying the hate heavy on this nigga. 
another thing I can't stake for the, the last three years. The last three years. You know what this nigga did? He had a school giveaway in his community. This nigga spent over $300,000 in cash giving away shit to strange people that he don't even know. Kids. Giving all the kids backpacks and laptops and notebooks and shit like that. Thanks for little baby, man. You see the back of school supply, man. Hold your shit up, baby. Hold it up and show them what you got from little baby. Little baby got you your tab, your book bag. He down here with everybody else doing their thing. Shit, shout out to little baby, man. Big up. Shit, we appreciate you, little baby. We so appreciate you. Shit, for the big day, man. You know what I'm saying? Back to school, shit, shit, I ain't got a back. Big up, man. Real shit for the city, man. Man, do the thing. Three hundred thousand dollars, nigga. You could ain't you could have bought a motherfucking car with that money. Why you giving that shit to the kids, man? Come on, man. I can't stand a nigga like that. That go back to his community and do good shit. Listen. Do not watch what that nigga do. Just watch what he say in his reps. Don't watch what he do. Just watch what he say in his reps. All right. And another reason, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming with this shit. Another reason I can't stand this nigga is this right here. This nigga had the nerve to have a coat giveaway. Yeah. Coats. You know, it get cold down in Atlanta during the wintertime. This nigga had a coat giveaway for the kids, man. You dirty rotten motherfucker. How dare you? How dare you get a kid some coats? Saving their parents money once again. Saving their, the parents money with uh, school materials and laptops and shit like that. How dare you give back to your motherfucking community? I don't like that shit. Mm-mm. Little baby one of them niggas. I just, mm-mm. I can't stand this nigga right here. No. Not to be doing that type of shit, nigga. You don't go back to your community and give them motherfuckers nothing. Now listen, y'all watch what that motherfucker say. Don't watch what he do. I need y'all to pay attention to his raps. And we gonna condemn him because he rapping about his environment. We gonna hate on him because he rapping about the shit that he done been through. The shit that he done seen in his life. We gonna hate him because of that. Don't watch what he do. Don't. Fuck that. Go. You can't see. All of a sudden, you go blind when the nigga start doing positive shit for his community. Man, I can't see shit, man. I can't. Right? And another reason I can't stand this nigga. This one right here is very important, right? This the one that I really don't like. This nigga went to his school, y'all. In his community and gave them $150,000. He donated that out his pocket, $150,000. And then gave away some scholarships to some of the kids that are graduating. Boy, I'm just boiling with hate. So you mean to tell me you provide education for kids in your community? You provide education for motherfuckers that look just like you? What's wrong with you, little baby? You done lost your motherfucking mind, nigga. You was a gangbanger rapper. You ain't supposed to be doing no shit like that. Listen. Quit giving shit away in your community. Quit doing positive shit in your community.
because you rapping that bullshit. We got to watch what you rapping about. Fuck what you doing. Quit doing that. You making us look bad. We got to condemn you. You a rapper. You making us look bad, motherfucker. Quit doing positive shit, little baby. And last but not least. Last but not least. Check it out. If y'all don't know who this is, this is one of the sons of this church. I call him, I pray for him. This is the number one yes, sir. Yes, sir. hip hop voice in the world. I'm so proud of him because I know where he came from. Yeah. This dude is amazing. Yeah, just, you, just, we, we gonna, uh, yeah, we gonna do something with these kids. This is an amazing guy. You, give me a microphone. I just want you to say something. Give me a microphone. You want my microphone? Give me a microphone. I went to his concert. <laughs> he took his shirt off. I almost want to take my shirt off too. <laughs> How y'all doing today? How you doing? Hey. First and foremost, I want to wish y'all the Father to have a Father Day. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't got too much to say, Pastor. Want me to say something? I don't got nothing to say. I just hope everybody doing good and keeping God first. I feel like, like crap. I, say, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no balls. <laughs> I'm just grateful, elated grateful, grateful, grateful. that he came by yes. his time. He could be London, yes. Africa, anywhere, yes. Yes. but he came home. Yes. That's a blessing. Yes. I yes. I'm gone. Y'all take over. I love y'all. See, now that's why I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. This nigga got the nerves to be in a church. Hold on. This nigga got the nerves to be in a church next to a pastor, a man of God. How come the church ain't start burning down as soon as he walked in there? He should have started melting. He's a criminal. He's a game banger. And the pastor got your nerves to put your hand around that young brother. Come on. No, he can't. What is he doing in the church, y'all? We can't let them type of people in the church. We can't let them type of people make amends for their wrongs. We can't do that. We can't let them type of people, man, uh, reestablish themselves. We can't let them people uh, reflect on what they did in the past and start making a new life for themselves. We can't let them do that. No, we can't let them do that. And the pastor, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for letting that man in your church, knowing he a criminal, knowing he rotten, knowing he a gangbanger. Yeah, you wrong for that, pastor. I don't know. I can't never agree with that. No, uh-uh. As soon as he walked in that church, y'all should have been calling the police. Come get him up out of here. We got a little baby in the motherfucking church. Come get him. Now, do y'all understand? Come on, man. Don't listen to a lot of what these motherfucking rappers be talking about. Look at what they doing sometimes. It might change your tune. And we act like, not me, because I fuck with the rappers. All you motherfuckers talking all that, the rappers fault, the rappers fault. Man, listen. We love blaming other people. We love it. We, I'm talking about, and hey, listen, I, I'm with y'all on that. 
It feels good to blame another motherfucker for my fuck up. If I done fucked up and did something wrong and I can blame another motherfucker, shit, I'm all for it. Man, shit, I ain't listening. Officer, I was driving my car and that man pulled right in front of me. And that's why I hit his car. Well, Mr. Hood educated, they said you were looking at your phone during the time of the accident. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you again. He pulled in front of me. Even though my light was red, it turned red, but it was yellow too. At the same time, see, we don't, we don't want to take responsibility. And a lot of the times we like to blame, shift the blame. It's the rappers. It's the white man. It's the government. We been, how many motherfuckers we gonna put it on? Cause we done put it on all, the government been doing shit. Oh yeah, the motherfucking government. The police been, and the white man, the police. Now nah, it's the rappers, the rappers. So what was happening in the 70s then, y'all? When there wasn't no rap, when niggas was running around still killing shit in the 70s. And I'm talking about, and this in the heart of the, uh, the black power movements and shit like that. Niggas was still killing, niggas was dying. We love to blame. Start taking some ownership. Listen, I understand that words have power. I understand that right there. But if you have a child and you allow your child to be more influenced by someone outside your home than you, then you gotta you gotta you gotta eat that. That's that's your responsibility. That's on you. That's on you. A child should be looking at his father or his mother as an example of how he want to live his life. If you're a father and you're on bullshit, believe me, you're teaching that child to be on bullshit. If you're a father and you're on positive shit, believe me, you're teaching that child how to be on positive shit. Think about it. Children do what they see. Children mimic their parents. So if you in the house smoking weed in front of the kids, smoking cigarettes in front of the kids, drinking liquor in front of the kids, what do you think they gonna do? Shit, my mama do it, my daddy do it. Quit blaming. Take some responsibility. Rap motherfuckers is not, rap motherfuckers ain't got your kids out here doing all that wild ass shit. It's either you or the environment. Because like I said before, what, 80 to 70% of the people that listen to all this crazy ass drill rap and all that old type of shit is people that are white. And they ain't starting gangs, joining gangs, going on drills or none of that type of shit. When the last time y'all heard a motherfucking white person that listened to rap say, you know what, I was listening to this rap song and uh, shit, we started our gang, man, from listening to Lil Dirt, you know, and after that, we started killing other white motherfuckers and shit like that. Then they started the gang over here because they was listening to uh, uh, YG, you know, so they, they became bloods and, then, you know, we had ops right then and there. So that's like, come on with this bullshit, man. I ain't going for it, y'all. Like I said, though, don't watch what they say. Watch what they do. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. I need all the hood educated uh, residents to do me a favor. Share this video on your social uh, platforms. Share portions of this video on your social platforms. That's how we grow the channel. That's how we grow the hood. Peace.